Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Comic Book Burrito, the only podcast that prides itself in not being part of the Snyderverse. My name's Darian. <laughs> My name's Landon. And today we have a plethora of stuff for you. We got Marvel, we got DC, we got games, you name it. We got it. Let's talk. Landon, how have you been this past week? Uh, I've been good. Um, I love that little jab you did there. I respect it. <laughs> I hate Snyder fans out of anything else. Um, I've been doing good, though. I, uh, well, I've been playing Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. I'm loving every bit of it. I know you don't care. But sure. I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, nah, man, I'm having, I've been having a good week. Uh, Crisis Core has been keeping me busy. Uh, how about you, Beth? Uh, have a good week. Have a, I've had a good week as well. Um, rewatched this past weekend, Black Adam. Um, and I'll, I'll get into my thoughts on that in a little bit. I kind of forgot about putting that in the news, but uh, if I remember it, hopefully. Um, and that's really been it. Yeah. I'm playing video game wise. I mean, you mentioned Crisis Core. I've been playing Death Stranding, and um, you've come back around on it. Uh, last yeah. time talked, I mean, last time we talked about it, you're all like, it's not I a can't... game I can play for hours on end. I can only play it for like an hour, and then I'm like, oh, I feel like playing something else. Mm-hmm. That's because I think it's because it's very like calm at times, just like walking. <laughs> yeah, no, I got you. Yeah, well, I mean, I like it's, it. it's a good looking game, though. It's one of the best looking. It is. Uh, I love my favorite part is sitting in the private room and all the stuff that Norman reads, <laughs> all the stuff that Sam does. Just like he looks over the camera and winks. Oh, yeah, he like do all that. It's so funny. I love going into the um. The mirror? No, 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 no. You go into oh. like the uh, like like the break room or whatever. Like we take a shower and all that. Mm-hmm. And while he's sitting down, if you like zoom in on his crotch, he like starts like hiding it. And if you just keep doing it, he like punches the camera. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, no, I had, I, uh, dang! I had a stall of it, dude. But it's That's it's funny. pretty funny. You use funny. the bathroom. You see ride with Norman Reed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Mm. Um. Yes. But it's a superhero stuff. We got a lot to get into this week. We've got a trailer, a lot of a lot of news, a lot of DC news, and uh, yeah, all Spider Man Two stuff too. Oh about. yeah. Um, but let's get started with yeah. Spider Man Across the Spider Verse official trailer came out mm-hmm. on the twelfth, thir- thirteenth. Uh, I believe that is the thirteenth. Thirteenth. Okay. Um. There was a lot of hype surrounding this trailer coming out. Yeah. Um, It's been over a year since we've seen anything from it. Yeah. And so, um, obviously, a lot of people were were very excited going into this. Um, What were your thoughts going into it? I mean, I was very excited because I I loved the first movie. Um, Yeah, everyone can agree on that. Mm -hmm. That yeah. that the one of the, I mean the first one you could argue is the best Spider Man movie of all time, mm-hmm. and the one thing I wanted this movie to do more than anything it accomplished with making me like Miles Morales, and um, and the PS4 game had a lot to do with that as well. Yeah. Um, but I, I love the first one, so I, my expectations are pretty high for this one, especially with the first trailer being how amazing it i mean it, it was really it was a really good first trailer and i was very excited to see the next one mm-hmm. uh, how about you um i i feel the same as of uh, towards into the spider verse and this one i was really excited to get into this trailer is the first thing i watched when i woke up that morning yeah i woke up and i was uh, youtube is what i normally watch when i go to i watch kind of on youtube like fall asleep or something like that yeah. and um it was the first thing that pops up when i cut on my playstation and first thing I recommended is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse trailer. And I was like, immediate. All right. Watching this. Yeah. Um, I had to, I, unlike you, I had to wait. I had to get to work that morning. So I'm sitting there waiting for it to turn 12. And it was, it was a long way, but I mean, but here, sorry, sorry. Continue, continue what you were saying. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be honest. Uh, um. No, it's not about like. Oh, I hated the trailer. Is I thought it was stupid. No, no, I thought it was a good trailer. 
but it didn't get it's not like great mainly because it didn't get me really hyped and it really didn't show us much of stuff that we already didn't know i i, I can get behind it without with that i feel like there's the, it's missing something i i I'll be on. I'll tell you what we're missing. I also I think we were really robbed of seeing Spot in yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. If we, I think if we saw Spot in the trailer and like all the crazy stuff he could do, I think I think we could. Um, I, I feel like you'd be you'd be uh, singing a different tune here. Yeah, I think the most hype I got during the trailer was that one moment where the audio cuts and also it cuts straight to the. Um, all the Spider Men chasing after Miles. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's like it's like, dang! I, it does make you question, kind of like, yo, what's going on? I mean, you can kind of take a guess. You know, so Miles clearly messed up something. Yeah, but what I mean, what that is, we have no idea. Mm, agree. Um, we did see a lot of Spider Men and women in the in the trailer, yeah. uh, most notably. The uh, Insomniac Spider Man. Yeah, that's the that's the big thing. On the and po- and everyone's rumored. Um, everyone was um, saying that that one Spider Man beside him might be um, Miles because he was a lot shorter than that. Yeah, period they were walking. Again. I saw some people saying I was actually superior Spider Man as well. Don't know about that. Let me see the um, the list here. So I'm gonna look it up. All Spider. People in across the Spider Verse trailer. Now we do know that um, of some characters that weren't showcased in the trailer that are going to be in the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that being, uh, what's the Indian Spider Man? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um, May, uh, made it or May, the baby. Yeah, May, Mayday Parker. Mayday, yeah, okay. Peter B. Parker's daughter. Yep, but she's back. Uh, my one I'm most looking forward to, um, Spider Punk. Yeah, and he's like, oh god, and it, the guy that got him the voice in is going to yeah, Daniel Kaluuya. Yeah. yeah, oh god, I can't yeah. wait. Spider Cop was in the trailer. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Amazing Spider Clones. This says, um, mm-hmm. so Kane, Ultimate Spider Woman, and the Spider Girl. Yeah. We're in there. Um, um, I saw the oh God. I can't remember the name. I'm sure some Spider-Man fanatic is going to kill me. Uh, it, uh, they had versions of this universe where uh, Mary Jane and Spider-Man? her daughter fought along with him, fought along with Spider-Man. Oh. Uh-huh. I can't remember their names exactly, but uh, that's the thing that's on this list because I saw a picture of it a minute ago. Um, Spider-Man Unlimited Spider-Man costume appears. Mm-hmm. Uh, Flash Thompson Spider Jock appears. Yeah, I saw that. He has like a uh, what's his best called? A, uh, like a letter, letter jacket. Yeah. yeah. Spider Girl. Uh, May Mayday Parker joins Spider Verse World. Um, yes, yeah, it's Peter Parker, Mary Jane, married and had a daughter. Young May- Mayday Parker inherited her dad's powers and embarked in a hero. Oh, well, okay, doesn't say anything about that universe you're talking about. Lady Spider is on in there. Mm-hmm. Um. I'm not sure who Lady Spider, a young version of Aunt May. is a steampunk version of Spider-Man from Earth 803. Interesting. Uh, Superior Spider-Man, a.k.a. the Doc Ock variant. So I saw is. that. Yeah. Um, Spinneret and Spiderling are the two you're talking about. Mm, yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, they were in it. Ni- the 90s Silver Armor Spider-Man. Mm, I saw him as well. Manga vs. Spider Man. I saw, uh, yeah, I saw him with like, the backpack and all that. Two thousand says two thousand three animated series Spider Man. Oh, I don't know about that one now. Says, another me. often dismissed Spidey came from the two thousand three MTV Spider Man animated series. Many folks have probably forgotten about this Spider Man cartoon. His costume is pretty classic, so it's hard to tell him apart from the classic Spider Man look. But the physicality of one of the Spider People we saw in the Across Spider Verse trailer suggests to us that's the very same Peter Parker variant. I don't believe that. I saw Spider-Man Unlimited from the 90s show, but I don't know about Spider-Man. Trust me. I mean, there's no... I mean, I love Spider-Man. I, I would notice that immediately. I don't believe mm-hmm. that. Flip side. 
which is Spider Man 2099's foe. Uh, I, I didn't see Flipside. There. I mean, I ain't going to dismiss that one. I know who Flipside is. I didn't see him, but, you know, there's a lot of things in that trailer. Uh, so werewolf I'm, Spidey. Uh, the Werewolf Spider Man was there. I did see that. I saw him, yeah. Uh, Spider Man Mark II Bulletproof Armor, the yellow and black. It was in the game, too. Mm hmm. Um, Spider Girl was there. Anya, sort of zone. Uh, she was. There. I do remember seeing her. Uh, the bombastic bag man. I saw that. Uh, Earth X Spider Man creator hints at Spider Verse variant. Yeah, I think that's um Spider Man Limited. <laughs> um, and then it says Spider Man India, but he wasn't in the trailer. And that's that. I guess the others aren't. You're not. You, it's hard to pinpoint. But I mean, this trailer is. I mean, it starts off the conversation between Miles and his mom, and you see some stuff with him and Gwen, and um, yeah. you see all the Spider Man. That's like the highlight, really. And then you see a little shot of Spider Woman, uh, pregnant Spider Woman. Yeah. A uh, fighting Vulture, which I do really like the way um, Vulture looks. It reminded me a lot of. Um, like a, like a Da Vinci's like, like blueprint art or something like that for apparently that vulture is like for apparently there's like a scene that people saw of the movie mm -hmm. and vulture's like speaking French and all that and like nobody understands like what he's saying. <laughs> I, I guess it's like a jet. That's like a like one of the jokes in the movie. Yeah. Um. I I'm excited. I, I again I think if we saw Spot in this trailer I think. I, mean, I loved it. I mean, I loved it. Um, I have. I don't really have any issues with it. Besides, I wish we saw Spot. Yeah, my only issue is that. I mean, it seemed like well, everyone on is uh, like all the leakers and scoopers are like, "Oh, you guys, just wait, just you wait for this trailer." And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so like it didn't leave like, me at the end. Like, oh my god! Mm, like I was just I like, all right, yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, I think you said it best with like it's something we've, it's something we've kind of already known about. I, I mean, I guess the one big surprise that kind of got me was seeing Peter B. Parker there because I, mm -hmm. I honestly didn't think he would also be in the movie. Uh -huh. I don't know why. I mean, I just, I just kind of just assumed. I just, I, I kind of just figured that due to the fact that like. Oh, we kind of saw his kind of story kind of conclude a bit, just saying like, "Hey, you know, uh, he's going. He, you know, he's going to try to make it right with MJ." And he does, and then they have a baby. And he, and yeah, and but because I didn't think we were going to see more, I thought it was just like, "Yeah, that's kind of it." And you kind of have to. Spider Man Noir shows up. Yeah, I mean, Lord, I mean, I don't think he's going to show up. I'll be honest with that. I, I want I, him to show. Up. What about uh? No, Spider Ham. Spider Ham. Uh, that was a fan that. favorite. It is another. That's a big. I mean, well, him and Spider Noir were both fan favorites. Well, I, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Just, I mean, because due to just how popular Spider Ham is, is, but I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe we can we can get lucky. Yeah. Uh. I mean, yeah, let's just see some Spider-Man 20, 2099 in the trailer um, a little bit. I think he might... Him and Spider-Punk are definitely going to be my favorite. Ma, Miles is a close... Um, Spider-Punk and 2099 are Todd. Can I be... Uh, okay, this is a hot take, I'm about to say. It's kind of been like... Every time I see stuff about the trip. Okay, I'm not going to say this is like my final take on this. Because seeing the movie, I'll probably change my mind. But as of right now, I gotta be honest. I liked Miles's Into the Spider Verse suit better than the one he has now. Okay, okay, well, okay. I'm back and forth with that. I don't think you're wrong. I think they just that. like. Because, well, I think I'm here. I'm hearing people say the same thing. My. I'm back and forth because I thought the first one was cool because it's it's Peter's outfit and he's wearing it, but he made it he he made something of it of it's his own suit, pretty much. And I like the spray painted symbol on it; it looks nice. Um, 
this suit looks cleaner, but I like Miles is saying where it looks messy, kind of, and it's like graffiti, like. Mm. Mm. Um, I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't consider that a hot take because I've heard people say the same thing. Thing, so I mean, I, I don't. It's not, it's not too out there. <laughs> All right, good. But that's still that's what I think. But again, when I see the movie, I might change my mind. Yeah, who knows? But um, I mean, yeah, that that's pretty much really it for most of the trailer. Mm-hmm. June second, twenty twenty three. June's a stacked month. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, dude, every week there's a movie. Like, what's all yeah. Splash, Transformers, that Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones. Yeah, those are like the four big movies. I can see uh, like three of those. <laughs> not, not to mention. Dang, uh, Street Fighter Six comes out the same day as Spider Verse. What's more important to and you? So that day, I mean, I know you don't care, but that I mean, June second is going to be a pretty busy day for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess we can go ahead and rate this trailer so we can move on to some news and stuff. Um, what would you rate out of five? This is the trailer. Yeah. Uh, the Spider Man Across the Spider Verse official trailer. Um, I'm gonna say a four. I would give it a five if it had spot. <laughs> um. Okay, I would have to agree with you on a four, but mm-hmm. like, I didn't. I mean, I didn't like the trailer as much as you did. So, like, a, a less of a four than what you did. So, three point five for you. Yeah, I was. Uh, I don't. I feel like that's too the, low. The thing is, don't want to rate it that low because the trailer does nothing wrong. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It just it's, didn't like hype me up. It, I, I mean, I, I agree. I mean, I think the speech his mom gives is really good, and I love the. Um, I mean, what do you call it? Like the. Uh, I don't know. Because <laughs> uh, because once you said the fact that like it's kind of just stuff you've either already known about. Or seen because I mean a good a good portion of this trailer kind of shows um straight up just shows like footage from, the, from old the first movie. movie. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I get I mean I get what they're trying to do, but mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I think I, I think I give it, I think I'll probably give it a four. But like a low four, like a I don't know, like a four like Oh gosh, I would say like I'd give it like a three point seven five, but I can't do that. So I wouldn't. <laughs> no, I'll be a first man. You want to be a pioneer at this? <laughs> I'll do it. Three point seven five for the Spider Man across Spider Verse trailer. Um, it feels weird. I might change my mind later. Anyway, we have news to get into. Um. First of that news isn't really news. It's kind of another trailer, but not really. Uh, Disney Plus posted a um, little video called uh, 2023. Hold on. Let me look. Let me hop on YouTube real quick. (laughs) Disney Plus 2023 trailer. I'm going to look up. Yeah. Streaming in 2023 is what it's called. Oh, gosh. That's very loud. All right. So, I'm going to break down what's in it, because there's some new stuff. All right. Immediately into The Mandalorian Season 3, all right, there's a quick shot of Sylvie in Season 2 of Loki. She's listening to music on some headphones on a couch. But like, she's in the 70s, from what I remember reading. Yeah. Um, so, record shop, I think. Judging off the background. So, she must be sitting there listening to music. Um... So Black Panther will kind of forever stuff. So that is coming in January on Disney Plus. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Um, Ahsoka, Star Wars stuff. It's like one shot. Okay, here's a shot from Secret Invasion of Everett Ross. Same one that was in the trailer. Mm-hmm. Another shot that we didn't see in the trailer of Amelia Clark's character, who I believe is. Oh, I don't know her name, but she's the daughter of Talos, the scroll. And we see some other scroll on a shot of Nick Fury looking menacing. Um, more Mandalorian stuff. More Mandalorian stuff. Here we go. And Loki pops up. See a shot of him doing some 
Loki stuff. Then we got a shot of him and Mobius. Yeah, Loki we got a stuff. shot of him and Mobius in tuxedos. Yeah, and Mobius, Mobius says a line. He was like, "You just couldn't, um, you just couldn't hold back, could you, or something like that." And then there are three Lokis in this scene, so I'm guessing he's got he's what's it called? They can do. He can make like doubles of himself. Uh, yeah, like clones. Yeah. Uh, or, I don't know the exact it's not really a clone, but like a uh... like a projection of himself. Um, yeah. And another shot of Loki making a face. Yep. And then the final, very last shot. It's really quick. There's a lot of stuff from um, a couple Marvel projects. Real quick. I gotta. Um, I gotta like cl- pause. on pause. Real fast. All right. Nick Fury walking through some doors. And then a shot of Black Panther, and the shot of Loki falling through the TVA. It looks like, like outside of the TVA, he's like falling. Oh, and then that, yeah, and that's. Damn, all. I didn't know this was even out. Um, yeah, it just like came up, and everyone was putting pictures out, and I was like, "Did a trailer yeah, drop?" I thought, like, I thought it was just pictures because earlier before that, I was seeing a bunch of pictures for. Um, uh, like 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 that one new shot of Spider Verse showing like Miles like looking at that spot, mm-hmm. and like the other one with um, there's like another one of like a Grace spinoff or something like that. Yeah. Um, and I was thinking it was just like photos of, from those type of things. I didn't know it was like a whole trailer coming mm-hmm. out. Yeah, that stuff wasn't in the trailer, mm-hmm. but um, this. I mean, it dropped. I thought it was a trailer that dropped for Loki season two, seeing all the pictures. And I was like, well, did I miss something? I kept looking. I was like, there's no trailer. And I saw this and I was like, oh, okay. And it was like real quick. Not that much. But um, yeah. it kind of teased us. Not, that's not all the shows we're supposed to be getting next year either. So they didn't know how to put in some stuff, I guess, because I haven't filmed it yet. Yeah. But um, we have news on that mm. later. That is the Loki season two footage talk. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about. Um, Fantastic Four for a little bit. Awesome. Because I have one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pieces of Fantastic Four news. Okay. Um, Peyton Reed, director of the Ant Man and the Wasp and Ant Man Wasp Quantum Mania. And did he do the first Ant Man? That I have no idea. Yeah, well, I. I don't know either, so I'm just going to assume he did. Maybe not. But he has teased something for the Fantastic Four movie. He said that he has seen the initial artwork for the movie. Stuff around the Marvel offices. So the stuff hung, hung up around the offices. And he says it's going to be great. Um, uh, that's someone, needs that's, to, that's, someone needs to leak that. <laughs> that's what I said. I was like, Peyton. I said, take a picture of it. <laughs> it's like, anonymously leak it. I don't know. I'd like to see that. Um, branching off of that, we got some news by Daniel RPK and another leaker who's come back into like the leaking realm. He's been here, but he hasn't really been doing much big stuff. Uh, My Time to Shine Hello is his name on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um, he's got insiders in there, and that's how he gets a lot of news. Um, yeah. AMA Daniel RPK both put out that the Silver Surfer is going to play a part in the Fantastic Four movie with a major role. That's pretty cool. And um, though this character will not be in the movie, he will be teased and hinted toward but Galactus uh, most most likely by the Silver Surfer is being going to be hinted toward in the film. Yeah. Um, they will I, be in space. A major role, that's crazy. Yeah, they're going to go to space in this. They're going to be a cosmic team. So, um, you know, you have your um, kind of two different versions of the Fantastic Four and like what they do. They all have the same powers, but like you got your not really street level, but like, I mean, kind of. I don't know how to like explain it. And then you've got your ones that are like cosmic explore, exploration scientists and stuff. Yeah, um, that's what they're going to be in the switch. Um, like we'll connect them better with Galactus, I feel like. Yeah. Um, but apparently concept art for Silver Surfer has been spotted around Marvel Studios. Same. I mean, 
I I gotta see the concept of thing before. <laughs> Silver Surfer, I can just like you know, if they yeah. screw Silver Surfer up, I'm that's hard to do. It's hard to do, but I guess it's not impossible. <laughs> that's true. Um, let me check the time on the recording. Okay, um, we got a possible uh, casting that could happen for the Fantastic Four. The next three pieces of news are casting newses. New- newses? Is that important? No. Okay. Um, this first one isn't like set in stone, but the other two are um, rumored to be. The first one is um, you know Austin Butler. He played Elvis in the new Elvis movie. Yeah, and uh, he's been in a lot of stuff. He, his agents actually are reportedly campaigning for Marvel Studios to cast him as the Fantastic Four's Human Torch. Okay. Um, I think, I think he could do it. He could play the the, the douchey um, kind of brother to Sue Storm. He, I think he could fit that role. Yeah. Um. I. I mean, is it? Is there any other movies he's in besides that one? Elvis because I have not seen. That um. Movie. Yeah, he's in a lot of stuff. I think. Let me look it up. He is in. Uh, Once upon a time in Hollywood, Dune. Part two, but it's not out yet. Um, he was in Wizards of Waverly Place. I Carly, what? Um, Shan the Shan Shannara Chronicles. Not sure what that is. Um, let's see, movie called Aliens in the Attic under the Dead Don't Die. Nez Declassified School Survival Guide. The Intruders. Mm. Um, he's not a lot of. He must have been in a lot of Disney stuff when he was younger. So I'm, I'm seeing a lot of that. Yeah. Um, but he's most known for um, his first roles in Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, later on teen dramas, including recurring parts in the CW's Life Unexpected and Switched at Birth. He gained recognition for starring in The Carrie Diaries and The Shannara Chronicles, and now he's in, he was in Elvis. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a thing. Um, Isa Gonzalez is rumored to be the top choice for Sue Storm in Fantastic Four. Okay. Um, let me look at a picture. She looks the part. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Very, very pretty. Uh, she's a Mexican, actri- Mexican actress. Um, trying to see which all she's done. Curious. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, that's not it. Uh, I gotta go on the IMDb. <laughs> um, she was in Baby Driver. I did not know that. Um, Fast and Furious, Hobbs and Shaw, uh, the movie Ambulance, um, which is on Netflix now. Godzilla vs. Kong, she's in that. Uh, Bloodshot, the movie. There we go, oh. superhero stuff. Yeah. Um, Alita Battle Angel. Um, from Dust Till Dawn, the series. She's in a lot of good stuff. And then some um, Spanish projects uh down toward the bottom there um yeah so she's been in a lot of bigger movies she's known for baby driver i care a lot godzilla versus kong and Hobbs and shaw so i've heard about baby driver is a good movie i've only seen a little bit of it but um oh, i've never seen any bit of it so yeah um i've seen her in something else besides that but i don't know what i can't place it but i mean she looks smart she could do it um, on some a blonde wig or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and this next one, I'm very interested in, um, because you're gonna have a Spanish uh actress playing Sue Storm. To counterpart that, apparently Diego Luna is rumored to be a top choice for Reed Richards at Marvel Studios. I agree, man. Diego Luna, um, is Andor. Cassie and Andor. He was in Rogue One and in the Andor series, which um, I mean, I still haven't finished. I need to, uh, but I, I mean, it's not that I don't like it. I just it's a lot of show. It's a, it's a lot uh, of show. Yes. It is. Um, what else has he been in? Let's see real quick. I know he's been in some other stuff. I just only thing I know. Do you use a DC League of Super Pets? He voiced um one of the animals. Oh, which one do you voice? The tur. No, it wasn't the turtle. 
Or was it? I can't remember. He voiced one of them. Um, I think it was the turtle. Uh, he's an Andor Rogue One, Narcos, Mexico. Um, the Terminal, Flatliners, Open Range, uh, Spanish Projects. Um, he's in a lot of stuff, though. Some yeah. that I've never heard of, but I mean, yeah, it's Diego Luna. I think he could do it. He 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 kind of looks the part. You know? Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I agree on that. I mean, he's got the acting chops for it. I feel like he could be serious and he can be funny if he wanted to. Um, yeah, I agree. But we'll see. It's still not dry. Um, just rumored to be top choice right now. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's the Fantastic Four news. I'm excited for this movie, man. I'm, Any uh, choices for Ben Graham yet? No, I haven't seen anything. That's the only one. I think they're really... Uh, you know who I want? Yeah. Brendan Fraser. <laughs> Is Ben Graham? Yes. <laughs> hey. Just because... He's a good actor. What's that whale trailer? I need to watch that. That tra- you haven't seen that trailer yet? No. Oh man. The- oh, no, oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Never. Mind. I did see the trailer. Never oh, mind. Never the movie was that. No, 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 no. The acting at the his acting in that trailer towards the end of it was just like, holy. <laughs> he's a good actor, man. Yes, I'm happy he's getting the recognition he deserves. Um, but yeah, moving on. <laughs> All right, got some news on Wonder Man. Uh, coming from Daniel RPK, uh, Simon Williams, obviously Wonder Man main character, he will be starring in a TV show during the series. All right, so he's going to follow him. He's got a role in the show because right, he's an actor. Uh, yeah. Marvel is currently casting Simon's female co star for the show that's in the series. All right. Yeah. Um, and we got how we know the amount of episodes the show will have. Okay. Right. Yeah, what's that? Ten episodes. Okay. Yep. This also coming off of the um, we're getting Trevor back, Trevor Slattery, um, yeah. possibly Bob Odenkirk as um, the villain or the manager of Simon Williams. Please. I'm, uh, I'm- <laughs> I'm excited for this show just because Wonder Man is a character I don't know much about, but I know enough about to be excited for the show. Um, and also because it so- seems unique. It's nothing like it's introducing a new character, obviously. And um, it just seems like a fun kind of thing. I mean, an actor struggling in Hollywood. And Morris yeah. has to show up if Trevor's going to show up. So, uh, well, And then I need to get a spinoff of Trevor and Morris. Yeah, yeah, that's that's gonna happen. I need it. Um, but yeah, ten episodes of Wonder Man. Um, that's supposedly gonna start filming um February or January, January, February. I can't remember which one. Um, and it's rumored to come out in December or uh, a little bit after December. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, but yeah. What is next? Deadpool 3 stuff. Um, according to Sean Levy, director of Deadpool 3, uh, Deadpool 3's R-rated violence will be in-your-face and hardcore. That's a quote. Well, that's good. Um, news also came out about the film by Hugh Jackman, which it was just today, so I kind of wrote it in right before we started recording. Um, kind of how what's going to be going on. Uh, he said that Deadpool 3... Um, will not mess it doesn't need to mess with the Logan events of Logan because Marvel has a thing uh, where they are able to mess with timelines and then he leaked I don't know if he meant to but he said that it will utilize a time travel device throughout the film so there will be time travel happening yeah it makes sense because I mean it ended off with Deadpool kind of getting the ability to time travel at the end of uh, 2 yeah and so I'm wondering how the Fantastic Four, the Fox Fantastic Four, come into this. Yeah. Uh, Unless he like time travels so much, he like pops into a different universe. I don't know, or something happens with timelines, and I don't know. Yeah, that I'm not too sure about. Uh, supposedly, Kang uh, is going to have some kind of an appearance in this movie, but not as the main villain. Okay. Um. I mean, yeah. 
I, I mean, it's Deadpool 3, so I'm like automatically excited. I'm ready for that movie to come out. Yeah. Wolverine and Deadpool. I mean, finally. Yeah. Uh, also, speaking of uh, Deadpool 3, it has a costume designer now. Um, so we have Maze or Mayez C. Rubeo um, has been cast as the costume designer. They did the costumes for WandaVision. Oh, okay. And I don't know what else. Probably more projects, I would assume. Mm-hmm. But, um, but yeah, I'm, we got the kind of classic, classic ish Scarlet Witch outfit. Um, in that, I mean, she designed the Halloween costumes for them in the epic. Yeah, so, so I mean, she has a good classic suit. Yeah, so I mean, and I mean, I think they're really going to go for it just due to the fact that we've never. We've never seen a classic outfit for Wolverine, really. Yeah, you know? yeah maybe smart would be smart to go for it. I mean, you know why? Why not? Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's some Deadpool three stuff came out recently. Um. Next up here, something real quick. Um, the movie Iron Man has been added to the National Film Registry, the very first superhero movie to make it into the registry. Hmm, that's good. Yeah. Are you mad that it wasn't uh, Spider-Man? What, the first one? Yeah. No, I mean, because, I mean, Iron Man set, set up, like, this big universe, and, you know, I'm... You know, I, think, I feel like Christopher Reeve's Superman should have been... You know what? <laughs> that would... I mean, that... The, I mean... <sighs> You know, Chris I mean, Reeve Superman know. is like on another I mean, level. It's not, it's not like they chose like Captain Marvel or <laughs> Thor, the Dark, Thor in the Dark World or something. You know what I'm saying? Or like not a really good. You know, I mean, I love the first Iron Man, so mm-hmm. uh, I'm not I'm not upset with it. Yeah, I thought I'd put that in there. Though. I'd be was Rami Spider Man. I would like shoot over the stars about it. That's not, <laughs> that's not that big yeah. deal. Yeah. Um, what's next here? Donald Glover. You already know where I'm going with this. Will star in a new Sony Marvel movie based on the obscure Spider-Man villain Hypno Hustler. Um, I gotta be honest, I don't know who that is. Um, um I, I believe just, you do. I I know a bit. Uh, just it was funny enough. It's through the Spider-Man game, uh, friend or foe. That's the only reason why I know that even ever heard about this guy. And one day I was just curious of who the heck this guy is. And it's a guy that just controls, um, he just controls people through music or, or like so he, sound. So he's the Spider Man's equivalent of the music meister. Pretty much. Interesting. It's the closest you'll ever get to a music meister movie. You might as well. Yeah. It was very, uh, hey, who knows? Maybe, uh, Add him, add him in the next uh, James Gunn item in the next Suicide Squad. That would be cool. James, I mean, you know, James Gunn would do some music stuff. I know. Um, I'm, sorry. I'm surprised he hasn't. Donald Glover will be producing the film as we're well starring in it. Um, speaking of Sony Marvel stuff, uh, news came out today that the movie that no one asked for, um, El Muerto, is at risk of cancellation. I wonder why. Because no one cares. <laughs> no, no one cares. I know. I mean, sorry. Uh, I mean, like, literally, there's no point. Yeah. To, to making that movie. I'm sorry. I mean, it really isn't. I, I agree. I'm, um, I'm, very, I'm very upset that, that they even considered that to be yeah. even like a thing. I agree. <laughs> Um, next Sony Marvel movie we got coming out, I think, is Craven. Oh, really? Um, if not, maybe it's Madam Web, but I don't think it's Madam Web. I think that's a summer movie. Um, of next year, but I may be wrong about that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Hypno Hustler. Okay. Um, no, we got a prowler. Yeah, yeah. We got a synopsis on, um, the Marvels will be coming out next year. Um, 
I don't know much about this movie. Um, I didn't find out some news a while back that I didn't talk about on the podcast just because, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it was too important. It would have been one of those things where like, okay, and then moving on. Yeah. And so I just didn't put it on there. But I mean, the villain of the movie is supposedly, um, oh, I don't remember the actor's name. It's a Chinese actor, I think. Um, but he's also playing, I think it's him that's playing Captain uh, Carol Danvers' husband. Oh. Or something like that. I may be completely wrong, but that's from what I remember. But anyway, let me read the synopsis for the movie. Carol Danvers, a.k.a. Captain Marvel, has reclaimed her identity from the tyrannical Kree and taken revenge on the Supreme Intelligence. But unintended consequences see Carol shouldering the burden of a destabilized universe. When her duties send her to an anomalous wormhole linked to a Kree revolutionary, her powers become entangled with that of Jersey City superfan Kamala Khan, a.k.a. Ms. Marvel, and Carol's estranged niece, Captain Monica Rambo. Together, this unlikely trio must team up and learn to work to in concert to save the universe as the Marvels. Huh. Um, all right. So it doesn't give us really any information at all. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I probably, yeah, I probably could have taken a guess on that. Uh, yeah, but I mean, that movie comes out next summer. Yeah. Or next fall, one of the two. I don't know if they pushed it back or not. I don't think they did. I think it's like July. Mm. Um, we only have three movies next year. And three shows, I believe, maybe four shows, depending on how um, what where Wonder Man fits in there. Uh, but yeah, that's the synopsis on the Marvels. Next up, some Captain America: New World Order news to wrap up the Marvel section. Um, we got some information that Val will be appearing in Captain America: New World Order, um, which I mean. Obviously, I feel like obviously she would have showed up in that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah first yeah. time we met her was um, in Falcon and Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Let me, I'm trying to think here. We also got news of her. This is impromptu. That um, she is the person who handled the creation of Sentry. And that's why in Sentry is going to be the villain of the Thunderbolts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she's kind of the villain of the Thunderbolts as well, even though she's like owns the Thunderbolts. So I don't know. Yeah. Know. That movie's very much like the Suicide Squad. That's why I'm really interested in it. Plus, it's got a lot of characters that I, mean, I enjoy. Some, at least most of those characters in the team. <laughs> I'm glad you did. Oh, you don't like Red Guardian? I do. Yelena? Yeah, yeah actually, I do like Yelena. Bucky? I like Bucky. I like everyone but Taskmaster. That's exactly. One. That's what I was saying. <laughs> That's what I was saying. All right. Uh, and John Walker. Couldn't forget him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love, anyway. I do love John Walker. Yeah. Uh, back to the Captain America 4 stuff. We know it's going to go on in the movie because Sam Wilson, a.k.a. Captain America, will be assembling a new team of Avengers to take down President Ross and Captain America New World Order. Um, as uh, we know... Thunderbolt Ross is the president. Red Hulk is the president. Um, yeah. I'm a based off news that we talked about um, not too long ago. It was probably right after Black Panther came out. Mm. Um, in this, we'll start to see the creation of the next team of Avengers. Because um, there is right as of right now, there are no Avengers. Yeah, there's just a superhero. Gr- there's just a wide array of superheroes in general. Um, yeah. And so this, and it's rumored that um, this team of Avengers, what we talked about last week, will consist of Shang-Chi, uh, Black Panther, um, oh gosh, what was the other one? She-Hulk? Maybe? I mean, it makes I sense thought, for her to be in I, it. I thought, I thought because, it was Captain Marvel. No, 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 no. no. She's not been in anything for the next Avengers team. Oh. Um, I think I've been in no, oh gosh, I cannot remember what I put down. It's, I know for a fact She Hulk was there in the um, news, Shang Chi, Black Panther, uh, Shuri, Black Panther, and um, I don't remember, and Sam Wilson, but I think there's one more I'm forgetting. But um, that is possibly the team, and it might be our little preview because 
Um, that's the team that's supposedly going after Kang at the beginning of um, Kang Dynasty. Mm-hmm. And it'll be like the first wave. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if it'll be like the new Avengers or something like that. I don't know how they'll do it. But uh, yeah. yeah, that is the Marvel news. Yep. Uh, that's pretty, sure pretty, pretty, pretty decent news, I'd say. Yeah. Um, a lot of Fantastic Four stuff and Deadpool stuff. All right. Moving on. DC. Where to start? Um, <laughs> I saw your tweet, by the way. Uh, hilarious. Which one? <laughs> uh, James Gunn's going to ruin D. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Um. I'll start with this. Dwayne Johnson's team, according to a new report, have leaked a false financial statement about Black Adam's profits to the press. Um, They lied about how much the movie made, when in reality it made less than it was they wanted it to. Um, Yeah. And uh, Dwayne Johnson, this this man, he gets on my nerves. Um, I'm going (laughs) to talk more about him as we go on. Um, So I can't. I'm not going to say much right now. But uh, I do want to point out Black Adam is on HBO Max now. Yeah, go watch that. I did watch it. Uh, that's my second. It was my second time watching it. I didn't. However, I didn't like it as much as I did the first time, mainly because um, I don't really know. I guess because like all the stuff going on with DC, it was just like I just felt like oh, this movie's kind of pointless now. Yeah. Like originally watching it, I was like, "Oh, this this sets up so much stuff for DC. Oh, Superman. Oh, the JSA." But now it's just like, "Huh? Okay." Oh, oh, it ain't happening. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um. But I mean, I still did very much. Hawkman and Doctor Fate still highlights. Mm. Uh. Yeah. Just thought I'd put that out there. Um. But yeah, go check out Black Adam. I mean, it's a fun watch. It is a fun watch. Uh, you can watch the after credit scene if you want to. I mean, <laughs> at this point. Mm. Uh, here's some fun little news I uh, learned about. I have read, I just finished reading um, a comic book. There's some comic book talk going on here. Um, Batman 89, the continuation of what would have been the third movie in Tim Burton's Batman universe. Yeah. Um, it's got to, uh, Tommy Lee Jones. Um, it's got Billy D. Williams as uh, Two Face, mm-hmm. and, and you got uh, Damon Wayans was supposed to in the movie was supposed to play um, Robin. So you have his Robin in this. Harley Quinn yeah. shows up at one point, um, but she's just a psychiatrist. I thought that was interesting. Harley Quinn in the Tim Burton universe. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, Catwoman's also in it, but, and she's got a kind of a new suit, but not really. And it looks mm-hmm. like parts of it have been replaced when it got kind of messed up in, at the end of Batman Returns. Yeah. Um, and the way they also talk in the comic, uh, Penguin is still alive. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So it's the way they made it sound, because they were like talking about, oh, who are we going to blame this murder on? They said there's one or two people. It can either be Batman or we can... Um, they were like, we can imprison Batman or imprison Penguin. And I'm like, well, how are you going to do that? He's dead. So that makes it seem like he's alive. Yeah, I mean, last time we saw him, dude, he was like floating in the river, dead. It seemed like, yeah, the penguins carried him off or slid him into the water. Um, but branching off of that, there's also a comic called Superman seventy eight, I believe, which is a continuation of the Superman movie, the first Superman movie, second. I don't remember which one. It's a continuation of one of the Christopher Reeve Superman movies, but I, I believe after the second one. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, no, ooh, never mind. It might, it might be after the first one because the first one was Richard Donner. And uh-huh. I guess we kind of based it off that. Well, that's sure. you, what they continue with the second movie that would have been. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, there's a Supergirl movie that came out back then, too. Um, DC confirmed that that Supergirl movie, Christopher Reeve's Superman, and Michael Keaton's Batman are all set in the same universe. That's good to hear. It's Earth 789. Oh, I get it. I get it. 
I didn't get it until just now. When you said that, I was like, what's he talking about? And I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. So right on. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was a fun little piece of news. I like to think yeah. about, like, I mean, they wouldn't, they don't know of each other. But, yeah. like, Mike. Uh, some, some Mike. So, that'd be cool. One, maybe we got to see uh, Christopher Reed Superman, Michael Keaton Batman crossover movie. I would love it. Not that will happen no more. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, definitely not. Oh, Lord. I yeah. mean, not to mention the fact that Chris, Chris Reeves is dead, dead. <laughs> but like, I mean, he, I mean, he was dang paralyzed. But I mean, it was pretty cool. He was in, he was in, like in Smallville. Yeah, yeah. Who did he play? Um, he played scientist that was helping uh, Clark learn about his Kryptonian origins a little bit more. That's um, it was it was the coolest thing because when he showed up, you hear the dun 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 dun. Like and it, and then at his very final like time he was in it, he had like a nice little monologue, and then the um, ending credits played the Superman theme song. That's awesome. Yeah. Um. But yeah. All right. Let's talk about some the drama. <laughs> okay. So let first me find. Off, let me find. Going to go on a rant here. Uh, do you want? Do you want to do the honors, and I just hold back? I can go. I can go on a rant. I, can, I I do have a rant. I, I do also have something to say. Um, it's a lot to read, but I read it. Patty Jenkins put out a statement at One Woman Three because we got all that news last week about what supposedly was going on with that movie and what her what she did and what her, she was going to do with the third one. Mm. All that she put out something. Talk about this. Yeah. I'm going to read it all right now. He said, "Sigh. I'm not one to talk about private career matters, but I'll not allow inaccuracies to continue." Here are the facts. I originally left Rogue Squadron after a long and productive development process when it became clear it couldn't happen soon enough and I did not want to delay Wonder Woman 3 any further. When I did, Lucasfilm asked me to consider coming back to Rogue Squadron after Wonder Woman 3, which I was honored to do, so I agreed. They made a new deal with me. In fact, I'm still on it, and that project has been in active development ever since. I don't know if it will happen or not. We We never do until the development process is complete, but I look forward to its potential ahead. Where there... When there started being backlash about Wonder Woman 3 not happening, the attractive clickbait false story was that it was me that killed it or walked away started to spread. This is simply not true. I never walked away. I was open to considering anything asked of me. It was my understanding that there was nothing I could do to move anything forward at this time. DC is obviously buried in changes they are having to make, so I understand these decisions are difficult right now. I do not want, I do not want what has been a beautiful journey with Wonder Woman to land on a negative note. I loved and have been honored to be the person who got to make these last two Wonder Woman films. She's an incredible character. Living in and around her values makes one a better person every day. I wish her and her legacy an amazing future ahead, with or without me. Walking side by side with Linda Carter, an absolute legend and beacon of goodness and light, has been a thrill. I have learned so much from her and will cherish her as a friend and mentor always. My crew has been like family and fought every day to give the world a great wait, give the world the best films they could. And Gal, Gal Gadot. Where do I even begin? Gal is the greatest gift I have received in this whole journey. A cherished friend, inspiration, and sister. There are no words I can use to convey how magical she is. She's the walking embodiment of Wonder Woman in real life and a better person than the world can imagine. Never once in the millions of moments I've spent with her did I see anything less. She's a gift to this world and even more so to me. But most importantly, thank you to the Wonder Woman fans and for all of your love and support. Wonder Woman fans are often not the most visible in the media and online, but I want you to know that we have always seen and celebrated you and your importance. You were first and foremost in our minds every day when we made the last two films. You're the best and most loving people, and I look forward to always celebrating you. Thank you all for this wonderful journey. Keep up the Wonder Woman spirit. Any day that you face struggles, try asking, what would Wonder Woman do? I hope her beacon of love, truth, and justice is always there to lead the way for you, as she has done for me. <laughs> I need that's, <laughs> that, that's um that's the first thing I think of when I wake up. What, what would Wonder Woman do? <laughs> Deciding if I want to go to work or work or not. <laughs> what, would, what would Wonder Woman? What would Wonder Woman want me to do? She would go to work. She 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 she'd work a eight to eight to five. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, mean, that was a lot to read. I'm getting a water as we speak. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know. I'm kind of glad Patty Jenkins is not doing <laughs> not doing another Wonder Woman film. Yeah, um, uh, but that's what she's just saying. Those rumors were false. Yeah. Which um, may, may I remind everyone? Nobody knows what's going on right now <laughs> besides James yeah. Gunn, hey, Peter and Peter Saffron. <laughs> so quit the bull with mm-hmm. the whole. 
oh, this is happening. Uh, and you better believe me. Yeah. Type type stuff. Well, that's the only one. Um, yeah. Next up here, Matthew Lillier cast some Five Nights at Freddy's. No. Um, sorry, I had to put that in there. Uh, I, I was like, is like, is that really DC news? I guess. I, mean, I guess no. it's Warner no. Brothers. Um. Oh no, Blumhouse is done. It's mind. not. Yeah, yeah. It's not Warner Brothers. Um. Last week we talked about a rumor, supposedly that James Gunn was thinking about incorporating the Batman universe into um the mainline DC universe. Um, mm-hmm. James Gunn has since come out and said that. That is not his plan at all. But the Batman movies in that universe will stay happening and separate, though. It'll be separate per Matt Reeves' wishes. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I mean, I'm a bit disappointed because, I mean, I think the thing is, I, I, I don't want Matt Reeves to feel forced and have having to fit his universe along with that or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But. <laughs> I'm a bit upset because I think it'd be pretty cool if that was like, uh, you know, Robert Pattinson's like our Batman now. And like, he, he I would, I hate, I, I, don't, I won't be as upset if I at least like Matt Reeves puts in like a Superman or a, or, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I doubt he'd do that. They wouldn't want another Superman on screen besides. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. But. Once we get Robin, I'll be okay. <laughs> no, I I'll don't be know. Okay. Could be next movie. I don't know, um, please. Uh, I, I, I don't know why I put this news in there. Uh, I put in these next two pieces of news um, because I felt that... Uh, I don't know. I, there's It's still mainstream DC, so I need to talk about it. Um, yeah. But a show... Is um, should I do the good news or the bad news first? Because they kind of go uh, together. Well, <laughs> bad news I think would start off pretty hilarious. Okay, <laughs> so do that. Um, show that always slips my mind, um, but I've been reminded of constantly these last few weeks. Uh, the CW's Gotham Knights series will be premiering on Tuesday, March fourteenth. Are we gonna do a review? I mean, no, it's a CW show. I want to be watching it, and I will talk about it. Um, my only, the only thing I, int- I mean, this was the only thing that makes me interested, remotely interested in anything in this show is the fact that Misha Collins is playing Harvey Dent because I love Misha Collins. He was a great actor in Supernatural. He was, um, I was gonna say he was good in The Boys. He wasn't in The Boys. Um, he was in something else that I watched. I cannot remember, but he's mostly in Supernatural for like almost a whole show, eleven seasons. Um, <clears throat> And now he's playing Harvey Dent, and I think he could do. A I saw a job picture of, of him recently as Harvey Dent. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he'll become Two Face in the show. That's what I'm very interested to learn about. But all the characters, I'm not really. I'm not interested in all besides Harvey Dent. Like, yeah, like who's even like the main guy? It's not even like Dick Bruce's adopt. Yes, Bruce's adopted son is an original character. Which is so stupid. Like it's not Dick Grayson. It's not Tim. It's not Damien. You got you got Joker's daughter in it. And you got um, what's that girl's name from Batman? The Dark Knight Returns. Oh, um, the Robin. The oh, Robin. I know, God dang it! I can't remember her name. Yeah, she's in it. Well, I don't know why. Well, uh, I mean, I, I have well, no idea. Take like, place in this future. I don't know. I don't know anything about the show. I watched that one trailer and I was like, ew. Yeah. Like, what is this? Like before that trailer came out, I was like, okay. I was like, I'm. I'm a little interested. I, I was like, I'll watch it. But now the Arrowverse is in. This isn't even part of the Arrowverse. The Arrowverse officially ends with the Flash season, the final season, which they put out a trailer for. It was yeah. nice. It's very like cinematic. I was like, it's a movie. Like, well, oh, yeah. I mean, you know, it didn't look, not, it didn't look mean, like the Flash I, I watched. I mean, they ended off with a bang, I guess. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be upset when that show ends. I do enjoy the Flash, even if it has its, it has its cons. Barack um, Obama. <laughs> that wasn't in the Flash. <laughs> it, it, it's in. The, it counts. No, it doesn't. It was in Legends of Tomorrow, which is like something Same completely thing. different. It counts. Whatever. The Flash is like Legends of Tomorrow is supposed to be silly. They time travel and do all kinds of like time stuff. I mean, that was Gorilla Grodd, Flash villain. Yeah, Gorilla Grodd was a villain. It, just like Reverse Flash was a villain right. in Legends of Tomorrow. Same. 
same writers. No, it's not the same writers. Is it not? No, each show has different writers. Under the same publisher. <laughs> that, so you can't say that. No. All right, so you're telling yeah. me that uh, under the same publisher, right? Yeah. Uh, Marvel. So you're telling me that, um, you know what, DC, right? Watchmen, yeah. Birds of yeah. Prey. Oh. Yeah, shut up. Oh. <laughs> God dang it. You got me. <laughs> Um, anyway, the good news though is that Superman and Lois season three premieres the same day, right after that. So you're gonna leave a bad taste in your mouth, but then you get to wash it out with some Superman and Lois, which is a still an excellent show. Um, I do see that being canceled soon just because of what's going on at DC, but it's a very very good show. James, like James, Star like, get, get rid of this fake Smallville. That's what James Gunn will say. He's gonna he's gonna revive Smallville. Well. James Gunn, like, hey, James Gunn likes Smallville. And I did see that Michael Rosenbaum wants to be cast as the Lex Luthor of the DCU. And like, I mean, he's old enough now. <laughs> Is that like the real Lex Luthor? Was that Lex Luthor in Smallville? Yeah, but he's like, he's, he's old enough now. Uh, okay, he wants to come back and play the real Lex. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I mean, bad luck. I'd like hey. to see that. He was a good. Hey, stop! Don't say it. Don't say I'm it. gonna say. I'm just gonna say bad luck. <laughs> I heard the bat, and I was like, no. <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> bad, nope. Just trying to stop me. Oh, um, but yeah, um, Superman and Lois season three. I need to finish season two. I haven't finished it. I'm kind of behind on my shows. I got a lot to watch. I'm behind on my shows. I'm behind. I got on my so shows. much. Oh. I got so much. I, see, I'm like don't need, out, off school right now. I could be getting them done. Like I'm just, mm-hmm. I don't even well, finish Star Girl season three, even though I, I heard some stuff that happened in the finale. And I'm really excited to watch, but I just. Mm. I need to finish Invincible because I mean I, 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 need, I, mean, I need to watch that. I haven't watched that. That's another piece of news we got to talk about. Yeah, they did announce yeah. um, what season three? Yeah, season two and three. Season two is coming yeah. out next year. Oh, season two. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And like, and I'm just like, I'm mad because I haven't even finished it. I mean, watched it. I mean, I watched the boys, so I mean, I probably like Invincible. I mean, I, I mean, dude, I, yeah, I, I, I the boys. Love like the boys, I like lo- that show. Will never like be bad to me. <laughs> it's just so like. I don't know how to explain it. And plus, like the actors they keep bringing in, they're bringing in like Jeffrey Dean Morgan this season. Bring in the dude As, that played God in Supernatural, and this is, like the whole show's turning into Supernatural, but superpowers. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm hyped for being Tech Knight. Yeah, Jeffrey Dean Morgan is <laughs> possibly playing him. That, I mean, no, it's not even possible. I mean, I, I, I see who he's playing. Straight up, he's Tech Knight. I, <laughs> that's gonna be the opening of the season. Is literally that first line. He says, "Doctor, Doctor? I can't stop." <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Y'all need to read the boys' comics. Yeah. Don't let your parents know about them. Hide them under your mattress. <laughs> Next to your Playboy. <laughs> yep. Honestly, I think you'd rather your parents find those. Your Playboys than the, than the <laughs> boys. Yeah. boys. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, the next book I need, I haven't even finished that series of books, but the next one I got to get is Hero Gasm, and I already know. Oh, God dang it. I haven't found that anywhere. It's like a hot commodity right now. I'm like... <laughs> I'm looking everywhere. All the Edward, all the McKays around here. I wonder. I wonder if you had to like. Kinda, I wonder if you had to like ask for it. Hey, you, you got you got your orgasm. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's, in, it's in the back. It's in the back. Okay, in the back. Come, here. come here. In the back. The 18 plus section. <laughs> Triple X. I, I mean, I, I mean, Lord, I mean, dude, I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually why you can't find it. You have to like really like ask for it. Well, I mean, I've seen it at um, McKay's before. I just didn't pick it up because I didn't need it at the time, but now I need it, and I can't find it anywhere. Probably gonna have to order it online, and I think it's kind of expensive online. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you seen at Barnes and Noble? I mean, I don't think I haven't been at Barnes and Noble. They're expensive anyway. That is true. Um, I like going to McKay's. They sell stuff for cheap. Yeah. Um, next piece of news, though. Um. Okay, I gotta judge based off the time we have on the um, recording and how much this is. If I have time to read it. Um, I don't know. No, I don't. Henry Cavill put out a message. He said, I have just had a meeting. This was four days ago, I think. Well, no, actually it wasn't. It was 
five days ago. He said, I have just had a meeting with James Gunn and Peter Safran, and it's sad news, everyone. I will, after all, not be returning as Superman. Being told by the studio to announce my return back in October prior to their hire, this news isn't the easiest, but that's life. The changing of the guard is something that happens. I respect that. James and Peter have a universe to build. I wish them and all involved with the new universe the best of luck and the happiest of fortunes. For those who have been by my side throughout the years, we can mourn for a bit, then we must remember Superman is still around. Everything he stands for still exists, and the examples he sets for us are still there. My turn to wear the cape is past, but what Superman stands for never will. It's been a fun ride with you all, onwards and upwards. Uh, yeah. It's sad. It's sad. It, it really is. Um, I, apparently, news came out that he did not have a written contract to play Superman again. It was a verbal con- agreement between him and Warner. They just said, like, yeah, yeah, he'll play Superman. They didn't uh, like, give him a contract. Yeah. And the, apparently, he was supposed to be playing Superman for 19 years. Mm-hmm. Which is a long time. But, um, but he, uh, Henry Cavill posted that James Gunn came in and put out some tweets. Let me find them up here real quick. This is it. Yeah. This is what he said. Peter and I have a DC slate ready to go, which we couldn't be more over the moon about. We'll share, be able to share more some exciting information about our first projects at the beginning of the new year. Which yeah, I'm excited for that. Mm-hmm. Um, among those on the slate is Superman. So Superman movie. In the initial stages, our story will be focusing on an earlier part of Superman's life, which has now come out. It's going to be him first joining the Daily Planet. Um, Lois Lane will be in, he's already met Lois Lane before yeah um, and so he's met most of the main characters it's just him joining the planet so we're going to start mm. so he's I guess starting off with that double persona um, type thing he says so the character will not be played by Henry Cavill but we just had a great meeting with Henry and we're big fans and we talked about a number of exciting possibilities to work together in the future okay yeah. I mean, hey, I, I mean. And this person said, um, respond to him, said, James Gunn, when you show us the movie coming out, will you explain why Cavill is getting recast, please? He said, as I said of yesterday, it's very simple. He's a different age. And this person said, you're not doing, you're doing another origin story, which no one wants. And he said, also, as I said yesterday, I'm definitely not doing an origin story. And then this guy comes in and says, son, you said what it will be. Him meeting people for the first time is an origin story. How much did Disney pay you to screw over the one thing DC had going for it? And he said he's not meeting the major characters for the first time either. He's merely younger. Y'all. Y'all need hey, to leave I, this man alone, please. <laughs> I did. I, I, like, uh, okay. So already, okay. Well, here's the thing. He has, okay. James Gunn ha- currently has three group of people attacking them right now. Huh. Snyder fans, number one, because he shut that whole thing down of a possible Snyderverse, which we were trying to tell you guys is not going to happen as many hashtags you do. Because um, I honestly do think Warner Brothers did regret doing that because that just made the whole thing worse. Like, cause I want to bet they thought we're gonna we're gonna do a Snyder cut and then you know they'll be satisfied. <laughs> Heck no. Um, now and also you, so you have these other big Superman fans like um. Well, I'm just gonna name one here. No, you know, no hate towards the guy or anything, but this is what I mean. This is this was this one got really got my nose. Angry Joe. Oh, I did see. I did already put out a rant video. Yeah, and it, it, being a, you know, I had no hate towards him, no hate, but like, it's it's not that serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, the same thing has happened many times. Many times. And I'm willing, and I'm willing to bet my, my spot on this channel when the new movie comes out, he'll like it and he'll, and he'll act like, and he will for, just forget about it. Yeah. Um, like, what I'm saying is like, Christopher Reeves. They're like, oh, he doesn't look like Superman. He's going to be a terrible Superman. Ew. And then he comes out and he's like, oh, I really like Christopher Reeves. He's a great Superman. Yeah. And then Brandon um, Ruth. Brandon Ruth. They're like, oh, Superman. We recast this guy's not never going to do it as good. Oh, this sucks. Bring back Christopher Reeves. And they're like, oh, this guy's awesome. Great. Yeah, Same no, thing no. with Henry Cavill. Like, I mean, yeah. It's just it's been like this, like a. It's always it's, been like it's, it's always like the same as like Batman, that. except one time Batman, it was like, oh, 
<laughs> I'd say that. I mean, the only George time, Clooney. <laughs> but, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I mean, that's probably the one time. I mean, like literally, I mean, people did, hated the idea of Toby Toby McGuire when that was first coming out, and um, believe it or not, Tom Holland as well as Spider Man, Andrew Garfield. I mean, it's all <laughs> this ain't new. I don't know why people are. It was sudden, yes, and it was very disappointing due to that cow. You know, it's like, hey, cool, it cow. Was, right. It was. I was walking in the mall, and I looked at. I felt vibrations on my phone. I looked at it, and I was like, whoa! I gotta sit down. <laughs> yeah, uh, like it's <laughs> it's nothing new, and people need to calm down. Yeah, I agree. And <laughs> the biggest. This, let me read James that James Gunn tweet that just came out. Yeah, today. yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I, sorry, I just remembered about it. It would be good to read that. Um, he did put out of all of the absolute hate. For example, by the way, with this hate, um, there's a tweet. This person said, I shouldn't express myself this way because I'm 41, but God, please, we are all looking forward to James Gunn's death. And for that hateful man to go right to hell. Hashtag fire James Gunn. Hashtag Henry Cavill Superman. Hashtag bring back Zack Snyder. Hashtag restore the Snyderverse. Hashtag you <laughs> heartbreak. See, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Snyder fans are the worst. Yeah, and it gets on my nerves. I I, I don't think I, that's probably the worst fan base out there. I was thinking Star, something Star, worse. Star Wars is pretty bad. Star, oh, <sighs> Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Do Star Wars fans act like dang? Um, yes, yes. <laughs> the, the equivalent of Snyder fans and Star Wars is, is the sequel fan. Yeah, but the whole blueprint thing, I like Snyder. Oh, well, yeah, that's stupid. It's gets on my nerves. Yeah, that's stupid. Let me read this tweet real quick before we continue on with this rant. Uh, James Gunn put this out toward all the backlash today, actually, right? Yeah. Uh, the 19th mm-hmm. is when we're recording this. He put this up today. One of the things Peter and I were aware of when we took the job as heads of DC Studios was a certain minority of people online that could be, well, uproarious and unkind, to say the least. Our choices for the DCU are based upon what we believe is the best for the story and best for the DC characters who have been around for nearly 85 years. Perhaps these choices are great, perhaps not, but they are made with sincere hearts and integrity and always with the story in mind. No one loves to be harassed or called names, but to be frank, we've been through significantly worse. Disrespectful outcry will never, ever affect our actions. We were aware there would be a period of turbulence when we took this gig, and we knew we would sometimes have to make difficult and not so obvious choices, especially in the wake of the fractious nature of what came before us. This means little to us in comparison to our jobs as artists and custodians and helping to create a wide and wonderful future for DC. And he also put out for people that were thinking um, that his news came out that he was going to be keeping the members of the Suicide Squad from the movie um, and recasting everyone else. That's not true. He did post. He said, I keep seeing posts of this untrue theory. We are not recasting everyone except the Suicide Squad, which could be taken like 50 different ways, but... (laughs) I mean, I could, I, I, to me, that either sounds like it's a full reboot, or it sounds like I mean, we're not recasting the Suicide Squad, but we're also not recasting a couple other characters too, maybe like Shazam and yeah. someone else. I don't know how they're gonna do it. Hmm. But um, I just thought I mentioned that. Interesting. It just gets on my nerves the amount of people saying a hashtag fire James Gunn. Like, <laughs> yeah, I got. I mean, chill out. The, this is what. I don't like people are acting like they liked this, what was going on in DC. Spillman said it right. We were talking to him and he was like, I can't believe, I can't remember his exact words. He was like, I can't believe that people are acting like they actually liked that garbage that was like coming out. I mean, I mean, Snyder fans think that they, uh, Man of Steel, Ben Rusty Man and his Justice League is just, is just a masterpiece and just is, there's nothing else like it. Okay, yeah. So you ain't going to convince them. Then you have these weirdos that think the su- that, that think Suicide Squad's good. Which one? The, 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 sui- not the, but just regular Suicide Squad. Okay. Not James Gunn's okay. version. Okay. And, so I was say, like, I'm part of that. I, was I, mean, say, so I mean, Shazam's all right. Aquaman's all right. But it, le- it didn't really lead to nothing. Yeah. Then, so, I mean, you know, kind of like, what, what was the point of that? I mean, this is the dream. I thought, I thought everyone collectively could have said, like, if only a DC was more connected. I think the only reason people are making such a big uproar is because Henry Cavill's like coming back to Superman. 
Yeah. Which sucks. Yeah, I mean, but... most of the cast isn't coming back, apparently, for the normal Justice League. From... Yeah. It's, I mean, it's no like... Ezra. Yeah, Ezra. I know that for a fact. Aquaman uh, is, uh, Jason Momoa is supposedly going to be Lobo. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think we're getting a new Batman as well. Um, he, he did say Batman was going to be a big part of this DC universe as well as Green Lantern. Um, yeah, which I'm very excited to hear about. Yeah. I mean, I just see, uh, to me, and this is just my opinion, based off James Gunn's previous projects, his ability as a filmmaker in general uh, that I mean, I don't see a way that this is a bad thing at all. I, I think this is probably the greatest thing they could have done ever for DC. <laughs> uh, yeah, like for DC. Hey, I mean, yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm a bit mad. They're still doing. They, they still kept the Suicide Squad. Like I wish they just got rid of everything. If you ask me, but like you know, whatever. I mean, yeah, at but, least we, but then the again, goods. we don't know. We don't know if they're keeping the Suicide Squad. Yeah, he didn't really point. specify too much. But, um, I mean, I think we talked about it last week that if we, I mean, we got to, we're going to get a full fledged, connected, fleshed out DC universe, like cinematic universe. And, um, I mean, if we have to, if that means that we have to, um, kind of cut ties with the Suicide Squad and Peacemaker, um, I mean, that sucks, but I mean, (laughs) Yeah, do I'm willing to do it to get, to get a, a, a real Superman movie, a real Wonder Woman, real flat. I mean, the real deal stuff. Like a, yeah. a good and Green Lantern. And movie who's to say that. that he can't bring in the Suicide Squad later? He's obviously not going to start with them, I don't think. Mm-hmm. Like at the beginning, he did say he's going to focus a lot on the bigger, more known characters, as well as at simultaneously focusing on the lo- lesser known characters. Yeah. Um, which I, I wish I'd like I mean, get more people into, like, knowing certain people like booster yeah. gold for example not many people know who that is bring him in i mean that'd be an awesome movie oh yeah um no i bet well, no heart, like general fans didn't know who blue beetle was yeah and that's happening and that movie's still happening um which i wouldn't be surprised if that might get integrated into the new dcu maybe you think so i wouldn't be surprised but i don't know that's just me you'll find out yeah um yeah, Ben Affleck is in talks with DC Studios to direct an upcoming DC superhero movie, according to James Gunn. Um, he said he has talked with Ben Affleck, and, and they're trying to figure out a project that would be right for him to direct. We kind of... Hey, Batman, maybe we can... I don't know what he's... I know he's directed stuff before. I don't know what. I don't know what either. Maybe, maybe it's something good I don't know about, but... Ben Affleck director. He has directed... Um, his first feature film in 2007, uh, he directed that. Uh, it was called Gone Baby Gone. Uh, I off that. Uh, let me look on the, Let me look on his um, IMDb. First picture comes up with him as Batman. Uh, producer? No, I need to know about um, director. He's directed nine things. Um, Live by Night, 2016. Uh, Argo. The Town. He directed The Town. That movie he was in. Yeah. Um, Amy Shelter. I don't know what that is. Um, it's a video. Gone Baby Gone and it's a short film but he directed it called I Killed My Lesbian Wife, Hung Her on the Meat Hook and Now I Have a Three Picture Deal at Disney. <laughs> that sounds incredible. It's the name of the movie. Watch, maybe watch that. <laughs> directed that's, by that's, the an, that's an extra brief. That's funny. What? <laughs> okay. That's very strange. All right. Um, yeah, that is his directing stuff. He's apparently, he's up, uh, upcoming. He's going to be directing Keeper of the Lost Cities, Air Jordan, and Witness for the Prosecution. Huh. I don't know. We'll see what he could direct. <laughs> um. Shazam 2. Um, while I find the screenshot, I do want to point out a piece of news I do not have on here that um, it will have two post credit scenes, supposedly. Mm. But um, here we go. Dwayne Johnson yeah. reportedly declined to shoot a cameo as Black Adam for Shazam Fury of the Gods, telling Warner Bros. executives, quote, are you ready for this? 
Yeah. I'm only here to play in the big leagues. <sighs> okay. No, I'm like this. I don't like this guy. In, yeah. With DC, apparently, um, he was using Henry Cavill as a pawn to gain a piece, a large piece of DC, um, which is not going to happen now. That's why he's mad. And apparently, rumors came out that he was unfollowing um, some social medias, but then he came out and said that was one hundred percent not true. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know about that. He probably just followed him I again. Mean, I, 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 I don't think George Johnson's a good guy. I think I think he's one of those people that has like a really. I mean, I guess it's with everyone, but like he like seems nice, but has like a really big alternative motive, alternative motive. Uh huh. Um. It just like irks me that like I mean Shazam is Shazam and Black Adam are enemies, right? They are, yeah. And then he's like, oh, we are going to have that. Shazam's going to meet Black Adam. It's going to happen. We're going to build it up. And he's like, they asked him if he wants to make a cameo. He says, no, I'm only here to play in the big leagues. What the heck? Yeah. Like, jerk. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, who the hell do you think you are? Yeah. <laughs> he, think, he thinks Black Adam is the Jesus Christ of, of DC, I guess. I mean, Blam's cool, does. but Lord, I mean, yeah, he doesn't need to be that big of a part of it. I mean, like he's like he's really wanting to make Black Adam like the dang like Nick Fury. Of, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's like he's like yeah, he's the re- he's kind of like the reason the Justice League kind of gets together because uh, Superman had a hard time thinking about Black Adam, so they they made a team or something. You know, like he would pull something like that, like he acted like Black Adam is the reason why. So yeah. like Justice League are together and so it'd be some bull like that. Yeah, I think so. Um also by the way, we're talking about the um the uh the J Hole James Gunn stuff. I did see this, I thought I'd read it. Um this person said the best analogy I can think of is James Gunn just got in the kitchen and hasn't even picked out what he wants to cook and y'all are already debating the quality of the mac and cheese he hasn't made. <laughs> Well, <laughs> God dang it! I I hate it. I hate Twitter. <laughs> it, it's completely bull. Okay, here's my. See, I'm I'm starting to get angry here. It's completely bull. To I mean, literally, I mean, it says he just got in here, and yet these Snyder idiots, these dang Superman fanboys, you got some just BS being spat about. Of stuff people have no idea about besides James and Peter Saffron and other little people behind the scenes. Yeah. You know? So quit. And all this is like, and people are feeding the fire too. The fact they're putting out these fake, like, oh, this is happening. Oh, he hates Henry Cavill and uh, he has to That's come out. Wild. James Gunn, I can't count the amount of times. Probably, I can probably count, I probably need more than two hands to count how many times um, I've seen someone say something and James Gunn have to come and be like, no, it's not true. Not true. It's not completely true. untrue. Yeah, hey, I'm like, I'm tired of hearing that, those words. <laughs> that, that, that's, a, that's a drinking game. James Gunn saying not true. Take a shot. You'll die. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, alcohol. I poisoning. swear. And now dang Rafe, I mean, I don't know if you want to mention this or not, but dang Rafe Fisher's on him now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And it is a it is annoying. Uh, and yeah, I'm all for what Ray Fisher was saying with the whole. Um, uh, oh no way! No oh, gosh! Oh my god! Hold up! Hashtag fire James Gunn is trending so much right now that Warner Brothers Studios is in talks to fire James Gunn. This isn't Eric- true. It can't be true. Hey, hold up! Where who's uh, who posted this? It's fake. Okay, it's good. Uh, my account that says oh. at Fire James G. I had a heart attack. So it's the person that is obsessed with Fire is that James. See what I'm saying? That they're so obsessed they dang make a fake account to make retweet fake. that and put, like say fake, and I'll do the same. <laughs> um, Golly. I hate that. But man, you could you couldn't be more pathetic in this world. 
Yeah. I'm sorry. If you're, if you, if you like Zack Snyder movies, whatever, but don't you dare come on here and act like Zack Snyder made is the reason why Batman, you know, or, or created these characters. I am a what man. I love his Watchmen. I know it's not accurate to the comics and kind of misses the point, but I enjoy it. I love it. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I see Ugh. that tweet. I see that thing you were talking about. Yeah, you see it? Oh, God. And plus, it, it says it discussing me. films. Yeah, I saw that. It's just discussing films. I realized that, too. And look at I saw the ad. I'm like, oh. Uh. Like, I mean, you see how just, I mean, dude, these people. And then rude. you obviously have those comments that's like, um, they're like, oh, we remember what you did, James Gunn, with some kind of like, I don't know what. I'm not too up on that. 2009, he's yeah. already addressed, and Ray Fisher's upset. He deletes tweets. He's all like, I, I does it automatically, dude. Like, yeah. I like Ray it's, Fisher, man. I do believe he got screwed over over with those movies, but God I mean, Josh Whedon me. sucks, but like, yeah. Yeah, we all know that. What we did a whole spill on him, and like the days. earlier on in the podcast, we did a whole spill. I read this whole article about him. And all of just like, I'm not a James Gunn fanboy either. You know, back when those tweets came out, I'm like, I mean, I still probably, I mean, don't really forgive him for it, but whatever. It's in the past. He talked about. It, he's like, hey, I'm sorry. And dude, every every person, every person in Hollywood probably has done worse than that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I want to hear it. And Ray Fisher, the way James Gunn I saw used some to stuff going race. around too. Um, about Simu, it's about Simu Liu. He had put some stuff on like Reddit or something like that back, um, I think like nine years ago or something like that. Where yeah. he had talked about uh, like some kind of homophobic something or another, and then now people are finding that and bringing it up. It's like <laughs> it's the cancel culture. I mean, and that's not being that's not being like, um. I don't know what you would call it. It's not, it's not really like a political view either. So, I mean, like if anyone tries to say like, oh, you guys get political and you're talking about cancel culture and all that, it's not. Everyone realizes that's a problem. Yeah. It's, it's just, I mean, it's annoying. People people say things in the family. I mean, Brian Wagner just recently, I mean, I was, something he was saying was kind of, kind of no, Yeah, that's a little. That's that a was little. like a bit out there, but like. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm really, I'm really mad at Dang Ray Fisher right now, dude. That's like, that's like really. Bottom line, really getting on my nerves. Yeah, bottom line. Leave James Gunn, Peter Safran alone. Let them make this superhero baby. And if it sucks, and then I, I guarantee, I guarantee, when it drop, when the first Superman movie drops, everyone's on board. Just like the Batman, everyone was like, oh no. Twilight, Sparkly Boy, uh, freaking Batman. Everyone's like, oh, this sucks. First trailer drops, everyone's in love. Yeah, exactly. It's just exactly that's actually, that's actually pretty perfect. And you know the super first Superman trailer is going to be like, it's the first trailer of the DCU. It's going to be a big thing. It's going to be like, welcome to this universe. Here's our Superman. And mm-hmm. it's going to be this huge, hopeful, happy Superman. I guarantee it. Yeah. I don't like... Where Twitter is the most wretched hive. Well, well here's the thing. No matter how good it is, you're going to hear, I mean, literally, there's Naren still going to be those other. people. There's still a, those things. Because, I mean, literally, there's, I saw this tweet. It's all like, okay, Snyder fans, we've, uh, we've lost, but this is how we're going to approach it now. We're not going to say we, um, you know, we're not, we're, you know, we're not going to say we were Snyder fans. We're just going to be, we're acting like we're critics and we're just judging the film fairly. But deep down, we're going to make Warner Brothers go back to Zack Snyder. And I'm all like, so stupid. I'm like, you ain't getting your dang Snyderverse. You're not, you're not getting it. And I laugh every day. Cause I look at these clowns that believe they're going to get Zack Snyder. Dude, Zack Snyder's abandoned y'all. He don't care. He could care he does. less. He said he's done. Yeah. And, and like, honestly, I mean, I don't know if they forget that. I don't, I don't know Ooh, what they're, I got, I got some DC news real quick. It doesn't have anything to do with this. I thought I'd mention it. Um, yeah. Michael G. Aquino has won best musical score for the Batman at the 2022 Indiana film journalist association awards. Okay. Mm. Thought I mentioned that. 
I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um, I do have one more piece of news, though. Yeah. Not to any of this related. It's kind of related. Um, a new report reveals the villain of Man of Steel Two was set to be Brainiac. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, maybe in the future we'll get Brainiac. I guarantee it. But yeah, not now. Yep. Um, and that's into the DC news for what I got. Yep. Gaming is next. Uh, you want to start with that? Um, I can. I got a screenshot. I got to read for yeah. Marvel Snap real quick. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you start that one. Uh, Marvel Snap put out a roadmap. You know, the Snap roadmap. It's, only, yeah. it's the only Marvel game that put out puts out roadmaps anymore. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, they said, this is coming soon. Battle mode versus friends. I'm excited that one-on-one versus a friend. Yeah. Uh, name change. So you can change your names. Um, artist credits. So you're going to credit the artist for the cards. Russian and Vietnamese language support and infinity <laughs> infinity split mod details. I don't know what that is. is. I don't either. Um, in development for it is PC widescreen UI, which I'm excited about. Um, I did have it on my computer, and it's it literally looks like a phone screen on your computer. The way they yeah. Um, but now it's gonna be widescreen. It's gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. Smart decks. I don't know. Um, unranked mode <laughs> and new competitive modes. That'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, in concept, guilds. So we're gonna have like guild social systems, infinity rank leaderboard, collectible emotes and car emojis, um, mythic variants, booster magnets, avatars and titles by deck, PC controller support. Oh, hey, controller support PC. Throw it onto the consoles. Come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd buy it. You can make it free on the console. Yeah, hey man, I like yeah. that. Season cash improvements, cash improvements, and in-game events. Okay. And that's the development roadmap. That's that's pretty good stuff, honestly. Yeah. Um, PvP. I did. I did play some. Um, I played some Marvel Snap the other day. Um, mm. I finished the second recruit season, and now I. The main battle pass opened up, and it's got a new one. It's got some... uh, I can't remember who it is. It's got the Silver Surfer in it. I know that. Um, He's a new character. Uh, But it's a little expensive for me, so I don't really want to... Yeah. I want to snipe it's a good game. I mean, I haven't played it in a minute, but I mean, it's a good game. Yeah. Um... Let me see here. Um, okay, Marvel Spider Man Two. Yes, <laughs> uh, very excited about this. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, not really much to talk about, but it comes out fall of next year. Here, uh, which is actually what I—I I mean, I don't know. A lot of people were shocked by this. Mm-hmm. And I'm not too sure why, because I mean, this is exactly what I was thinking. I said summer at the earliest, but it's most likely going to be fall. And everyone's all like, man, dude, it's really late. I'm all like, no, I mean, that sounds about right. Yeah. Um, I feel like we got, do we get any other info from it, or was it just that? I was just, it was, I mean, it was just that. <laughs> well, so, I mean, it's something. It's, um, so I guess Ma, the guy who plays Miles, I guess he was right. I guess I guess we didn't get left empty-handed. Um, yeah, that's true. I think I mean if that's all, I mean, we can get to Avengers stuff real quick. Yeah, um, new suit this week is uh, Marvel's Avengers Iron Man skin, and they also released was is it the first cut. What, what, what Cat America skin was it? The, uh, uh, Mar- the Marvel's Avengers unmasked Captain America skin. Yeah, it's Marvel's Avengers skin. It's already out for Captain America, but it's unmasked. It's a Marvel's Avengers, Marvel's Avengers skin. You know? Yes. Uh, what they did was, I think if you already own the skin, I think it's actually at like a discount. Yeah, there's a, well, they sell it separately. 
But if yeah. you, there's also a bundle with the masked and unmasked, and you can get that if you already have the masked one, which most people like, should. It was free. Yeah. Um, like, you get it get, for 500 Yeah, so that's like that's like five bucks. Yeah. I, mean, I, w- I wish it was free. Yeah, I wish it was just a cosmetic change, but, you know, whatever. I'm glad to have that option. But, I mean... It, this I think it's kind like, of a stupid way to make money off of this. No, no, I agree. I agree. Um, I mean, this stuff doesn't really bother me just due to the fact that I like I like having the mask on. Uh-huh. The only I don't, I I don't like the on. mask of the Marvel's Avengers Captain America, like the main, like the first Avengers movie, Captain America, because in the game, at least, because it looks kind of weird. Yeah. Um. I, but I do like the way it looks with no mask. I did think about picking that up when I changed my mind. Mm-hmm. The, uh, I was like, I'm not like giving them money. That. Like, like the Winter Soldier one might be like the only one I probably wouldn't wear a mask on. That's kind of, mm-hmm. and that's it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think of like another one I wouldn't really wear a mask on. But that's kind of, I mean, that's kind of it. Yeah. 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 I and mean, that's all I can think about for Marvel's Avengers news. I mean, I don't think we really need to get all the skins. It's just unmasked versions of all the. No, it's kind of it. I mean, you know, they're going to take their holiday break. I mean, I think we're going to get more skins released throughout the th- throughout the weeks and all that. I, I think Austin is just going to dump a bunch of those unmasked ones through the holidays. Uh-huh. I think that's going to kind. I think that's what they're going to be doing. I'm curious what the new shipment will be. Yeah, in January, that I'm not sure. I mean, the the bird Hawkeye skin. No, that skin's too good. <laughs> That's too good of a skin to put in a shipment. If they did, I'd be surprised. Maybe that Kate Bishop one, though. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if I mean, that's I, it. I, I think that's more likely than the... Uh, well, I don't know. We got that Stark Tech one not too long ago. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I'd like a... Uh, I don't know. Maybe a cool uh, Thor. We've never got a Thor shipment scan, as far as I know. I don't think we have. Yeah, maybe a Thor scan. Because I, I, I heard there's supposed to be a Thor, a Thor one here soon. Not like a shipment, but like a new, like a real, like a king. Oh, like that Odin outfit of Thor. Did you see that? It was Miller. Um. Oh yeah, yeah that's right. Oh yeah, oh, so yeah it's like the Stone Age. Yeah, so I make, make that one of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that's pretty. Um, it. I mean, so I was responding to um, a guy. I recently did a stream of Outlast on uh, started that series. I finished Detroit Become Human. Did really well. I mm-hmm. almost cried at the end of it. I was upset. Yeah. Um, and now I've started Outlast. Um, you'll hear me talking on the whole time to a guy. I don't give him a shout out. Go ahead and do it. It's a cool guy. Um, username. I'm just calling him Refty. I'm not giving you his whole us- give his whole username. It's because I don't want you guys to be like spamming him. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, he did put out. He had asked um, if uh, I was going to do a part two of the last stream. I did respond. I was like, dude, I was recording a new podcast. I'm tonight. I will not be able to stream tonight. But I will be doing a part two tomorrow and three the next day. Um, so definitely go check that out. And I guess we can go ahead and get ready to end this off. Yeah. Um, I do want to say I would like to do maybe before the end of the year, we do road to 500 subscribers because, I mean, we're getting we're getting up there, man. We, we are, are really getting up there. We are. Um, that would be fun. Uh, I guess that being said, thank you all so much for joining us this week. If you have any questions, comments, corrections or concerns, Contact me on Instagram at DarienH4404. It's D-A-R-I-E-N-H4404. Or on Facebook, the Comic Burrito colon official page. Or on Instagram at the Comic Burrito underscore official. Or on Twitter at the CB Burrito. Capital C, capital B, capital B and Burrito. Uh, yeah, you can contact me at Spider underscore Landon on uh, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And um yeah, I mean, I love to interact with people, talk about Final Fantasy stuff recently. I'm big in the mood for that, superhero stuff. Um, I'm going to be streaming here soon, so uh, Darren can kind of take a break a bit before, you know. Uh, um, but, yeah. All right. Um, 
And I think that's about it. Other than a little reminder that this is our last episode until Christmas break um, for us. But we will be back January 11th with the Arkham File Season 2. And I may have a little uh, little something in the, cooking up for that yeah. that you guys will see maybe on Christmas Day. Yep. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe New Year's. I know. <laughs> But um, with that being said, we are going to go ahead and get out of here, and we will see you guys in January. Bye, guys. See ya. Excelsior.